Hi, my name is Ronnie Cruz. After almost two decades as a career network marketer, I realized that despite continual work on my personal and professional development, that I had hit a massive brick wall. So I took a deep and honest look at myself, top to bottom, hoping to find answers. And my search led me to one conclusion. The definitions I held of my business, of my world, of my life, were the very things holding me back. If I wanted to change, if I wanted to grow beyond my current circumstances, I had to wipe the slate clean and redefine. This show is dedicated to helping you identify the belief systems, the mindsets, the very definitions that have held you back, and then help you break through those limitations to finally create the life you've been working so hard to achieve. Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about the thing you're scared of the most. <laughs> the thing you're scared of the most. Um, I totally get this. As I've, as I've launched new things this year and continue to explore and expand um, you know, my content creation and my marketing and really getting into the digital education space, I'm tackling something new pretty much every day. And it's scary. It's scary. Uh, when faced with something new, um, the, uh, the, that newest thing is going to be scary and, and our tendency will then be to put it off, um, especially the really, really scary things, especially the things that are completely foreign to you and, and things that you've never done before. One of, the, one of the best examples I love is the first time I, well, the, the time I took my nephew on his first roller coaster. I'm not talking about like little, little, you know, kiddie rides. I'm talking about like, this is a massive roller coaster down in Orlando. Um, I think it was SeaWorld, if, if my memory serves me correctly. And my nephew was, he must have been 12 or, or 13 at the time. Never, you know, around that age, 11, 12, 13, never been on a big roller coaster. This was his first time. And so I was like, oh, let's go. I mean, I love roller coasters. Um, let, let's go. You're going to absolutely love this. So as with most roller coasters, there is that, that advantage very initial phase that really it just builds up the suspense because it, it's it's taking you higher and higher up to the peak of the roller coaster and then of course that's where that's where the, the magic happens right it, um, it drops you from there um, so in the meantime be, until you get to that point it's building up all this is this anticipation and I remember my nephew saying um, uh, can we get off? <laughs> like, like his, his, his anxiousness and, and his, and his anxiety had built up. So much. I was like, man, I, I don't want to be on here anymore. Right. Um, now of course, once we got over the peak, once we got over the apex and, and the ride really got going, uh, by the end of it, we, when we got off, he was like, this was amazing. This was amazing. Um, so that that's really that's really in a nutshell what the experience of doing something new is 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 like right um it, because it's unknown because it's foreign because you've never done it you don't know what to expect and and that's why it's scary but i want you to know that once you get over that that fear once you do the thing for the first time you realize it's not so bad and in fact you'll 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 understand that okay number 1 that wasn't as difficult as i thought it was going to be and number 2 i'm actually starting to really enjoy this process um when you understand that getting over that fear um you know really really throwing your, yourself at the thing that you're scared of the most and getting over that fear to 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 that realization and that discovery on the other side of 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 the uh, of the apex of the peak um of the fear then it, it just gets so fun going after the thing that, that you're scared of all the time, like continually pushing yourself into that scary, into that, um, into that foreign and unknown because the discovery is right over the edge. Right. So, uh, you know, as you push yourself into marketing, as you push yourself online and with content creation, really challenge yourself and, and facing, um, you know, really throwing yourself at the thing you're scared of the most. And, and the more you do that, the more, again, you'll really enjoy the process of growth because the discovery is on the uh, on the other side of the fear. It won't happen, however, if you never face it. Right. If you keep putting it off because of how scared you are, then you'll never have the discovery. You'll never make the breakthroughs and you'll never grow your business. So face the thing that you're scared of the most and you understand that that's where the discovery is and you really start to enjoy the process. All right. So that's my message for you today. 
I know, you know, the, the online world, especially if you're new to it, can be scary. Um, putting yourself uh, out here to, to teach and to provide value um, is, is uh, well, it's, it's, a, it's a position of vulnerability. And, and you know, we, we put ourselves at the risk of criticism and, and judgment. But again, understand it's such a fun place to be once you realize how much you discover um, of the thing that you're trying to explore in the first place and how much you discover about yourself and what you're really capable of. All right. All right. So that's my message for today. More from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.